Old impromptu live show. Ho de ho. Anybody there? Somebody's got to have to be in charge of the comment section. So tonight's topic is going to be staining a log cabin. Should you spray it on or brush it on? Looking good right there. And oh, pfft. you can't see that yet. Busy, busy day, busy day. Can you guys hear me? Can you see me? Oh, all right, there's a high dug. All right, now we're starting to hear something, see something. I've got to, a lot of the neighbors are creeping by here every day now. They want to see the progress going on. See if there's anything to see that's new. Anybody there? You guys there? Anybody home? Man, sun's going down. Right there, 148, 148. Can I get some thumbs up? Thumbs up, thumbs up. Love the progress. Love the progress. Tonight we're going to be talking about a little someone, a live show, an impromptu live show. I think Stacy's about to hustle down some burgers. I got the front of the. Don't look right there. I got. Don't peek. No peeking. All right, hold on here. I think the guy just drove by that I bought this property from, if it is, Genovese, Mr. Genovese, when you see this video, if you see this video, how's it look? It's been 11 years here on the property, and when you sold it to me, there was just a pole barn up there with a perimeter fence, and now look, in 11 years, what we've done. Y'all, I built two log cabins, one from scratch, from wood from the forest. I built another building that looks like a log cabin, I built the outdoor kitchen with some T111 siding that even looks more like an even log cabin. I've shown you guys how to make all this stuff. And now this is our biggest bite to chew right here. This is the, uh, uh, I was probably, I, I could have been a little naive when I went ahead and did this. I'll just tell you guys. This is a live show, so I'm going to just let it all out. Hey, what's up, Canada? Cheryl Friesen. Uh, Man, I don't know. I was just I was just dreamy about the log cabin thing. And I really like living in a log cabin. And I wanted to build one for mom. And I thought, man, we could do it. This is a pretty big project. And we weren't supposed to be in a big hurry, but she sold our she sold her house before we even finished. But she lived in such a crummy kind of neighborhood <laughs> that you're scared to death that you know if you don't get that one person who makes that offer, right? Like you might not get another offer and you need to be stuck. And then what we're going to do. All right. So tonight we're going to talk about uh, brushing versus spraying your um, stain on your log cabin. Okay. And since I have a little knowledge at this, I'll just give you some of my good tips. But first I'll check out what you guys are saying down here in the live show. And we'll wait for Stacy too. She might be bringing me my burgers. My sons are painters, and they would spray it with the log cabin varnish. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you. This just my humble opinion after doing a couple of them. But, man, it is looking good. I want to take you over there and show you there, but I got something surprise for the next video. I don't want you to see it yet. All right, I'm going to try to do it. You ready? You guys getting a good signal? Everything looks good? Gretchen Davis is a smarty pants. All right, you guys, can you see it? Everything look good? Can you see it? Everything good? Haymaker's punch is where it's at. Man, look at that. Ooh, baby. Shave that beard. Why don't you leave, Kate? You don't show up to my front steps here and tell me what to do to my face and my body. So why don't you just hit the road? All right. Everybody can hear me. Everybody can see me. Where's Stacy? She's about to bring me down some burgers. I live down here, man. I'm down here when the sun comes up. I even had to cut the grass today all around, man. We had so much grass, so high. It was just terrible. I got that done, did some weed eating. And then I was staying down here, came back down here. Now I'm staying again. And I told her before I go to bed tonight, I'm going to have this whole front stained. And I'm going to do it too. And I'm even going to do it with a live show and answering questions. No need to be aggressive. No, I'm just telling you the facts. 
Those are just facts, all right? There's no aggressive, okay? Don't show up at my house and be telling me what to do to my face and myself and all my stuff, right? Tell me to shave my beard. It's not aggressive, okay? I don't know what you guys think you're watching here, boy. This is alpha male territory. All right, I'm a nice guy. I like to share my stuff with you, but don't, don't mistake my kindness for weakness. All right. Word. All right, well, I know my beard is sexy, and I love my beard, and if you don't like it, there's the door. Right? Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Put them up. Put them up. <laughs> All right. What's up? Darlene Wright and Tyler, Texas. Okay. You guys can't see my little thing there. Man, this has been something else. Oh, you didn't know you didn't. Don't look over there. Don't, don't, don't look over there. You didn't see that. I do have a window in. I guess I'll give you guys a look. It's kind of exciting too. So on uh, Friday, today's Sunday, Friday, Mike from Gaston Log Homes came up and he brought um, the Gable Inn stuff. So we're going to be working on the Gable Inn stuff. Gary's on vacation. He's off. Uh, today he's cutting grass and then he's going to leave and he's going to go to uh, do some camping with his grandkids again. They just love that camping. And I saw his camper for the first time yesterday. Uh, it's a pretty nice little setup, so they can go out there. It's got little solar panels on it, and they can go anywhere they want. So he's taking his grandkids back out to, it's not Yosemite, it's Yogi Bear. <laughs> and they play in the water and jump on the doodad and all that. Yeah, there, I wasn't rude. I didn't tell nobody what's up. What's up, Bandana Grandma? Everybody check out Bandana Grandma. That's right. You tell her, Bandana Grandma, you need to text her and tell her to hurry up with that food. <laughs> you guys have been talking about my clothes, man. I'm on, here, I'm not kidding around, right? Here. I'm on safety pins. I got safety pins here. I got safety pin right here, right? Look, safety pin right here. Because my I'm just dwindling away out here. I told Stacy, man, I need more calories. More calories, more calories calories i eat you know three times a day normally when we're out here we only eat two times a day during this build i've been eating three times a day and i'm like man i think i need more food i could probably eat four or five times a day right now i said even the subscribers are commenting about it <laughs> you know i'm on safety pins and the sun's going down i'm out here sun up sun down man i just want to get mom home so bad y'all my mom has been living in the hotel now you know, and it's kind of her fault. She sold the house, but I explained to you. We had to take the deal, so it's kind of just one of those things. And uh, now we've sent her off to Oklahoma. She's going down to, um, if you're watching Ma, she made a little drive down to hang out with Bonnie. Thanks, Bonnie, for letting Mom come down and hang out. You better treat her good or I'm going to put you in that crawl space. <laughs> so she's hanging out with Bonnie in Oklahoma, and then they're both going to come back up together at the Homesteading Life Conference. And then I'm, I should be so close to by then, she could probably just throw her stuff in there and just we'll just work around her. So, so that'll be pretty good. And if you're new around here, if you just saw the thumbnail and you don't know what's going on, uh, my wife and I will live off grid in a log cabin that we built ourselves in 90 days. I pulled logs out of the forest and I had a place mill them up and I put them together. And it's real simple. There's no interior walls. We don't have any electricity. We live like the pioneers did, but it's only in the 21st century, right? So. When I first came out here, I started with the Belgians and I did all that kind of hard stuff. And as I'm getting a little bit older, it's been 11 years now. And now I'm, you know, I'm 53, I'll be close to 60 soon. And so I'm just starting to implement uh, some machinery, I guess you'd say, to just help my life a little easier. I don't have a bunch of kids here. If I did have a bunch of kids here, I would have stuck with it. But so as I'm getting older, I have to put into, uh, whoa, that was a big comment. I have to get, uh, I have to get implements and stuff so i can lift stuff and everything and hey doug let's take a vote who wants to see you braid the beard no i don't do the braid the beard stuff. man i didn't even pick the phone up to read that stuff you know are silly about the beard silly all right now you made me forget what i was talking about oh, 
All right, so here, everybody, if somebody say something. Oh, about the conference. So I'm going to get mom all squared away. She should be pretty good by the time we have the conference. The conference is August 1st to 2nd. So in case you guys didn't know, every year, the first Sunday and Monday in August, we hold a homesteading live conference in Hannibal, Missouri. They call that America's hometown. And that's where Mark Twain was from. And the book, in case you never read it, was uh, Mark Twain and... Uh, Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer and all that stuff. So if you guys are somewhere else on the globe, check out some uh, Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer adventures. And uh, that was penned by Mark Twain, an author, and he was uh, from Hannibal, Missouri. So we have this really cool conference there. We talk about all this homesteading stuff, growing food, hanging out. And the conference is sold out. We have a few tickets. I know a few people with some tickets, so you'd have to email me. If you want to go, and even with some riverboat tickets, if you guys didn't get the riverboat tickets, I know a couple riverboat tickets for sale. But I think you probably have to get the little package, but they might break them up. So you have to email me, homesteadinglifeconference at gmail.com, and you can hit me up on that uh, website there, you know, link. 841 people and only 252 thumbs up. Y'all are a little bit lazy tonight. I'm doing all this work, and I can't even get a thumbs up on the computer right there. What about those blackberries the other day? love those things all right i don't do super chats so i don't get to light your your comments up so it's kind of hard for me when i'm by myself until stacy gets here to see what's going on with uh the comments right so we don't do no super chats we don't want your money we just want you guys to show up you guys just show up we'll keep putting up the content oh there's one thing too that i have to go do before i go in tonight bam i gotta stain that right there that's one thing I have to do tonight. Man, that is really coming alive, isn't it? I love it. You guys can really hear me and everything's good? No kidding? We're off grid out here doing the thing in the middle of nowhere almost. We got a pretty good cell signal. I remember 11 years ago when we started this journey, cell phones were just coming out, these smartphones. And man, I used to, let's see, I've been doing the YouTube now, I think about five years or six years. And I remember, you know, putting the phone out we didn't even edit videos or anything. I would just put the phone out after doing a video, kind of like this, raw and on the phone, and plug it into the laptop, and it would be like 24 hours it would take for that thing to upload. Shoo, doggy. All right, how's the cabin looking? Man, I'm waiting for her. Hurry up, Stacy. Bring me the burger, and everyone wants to see you too. How's it look? Oh, you guys see it? There's a big sneak peek for all the people that are showing up for the live show. Sneak peek for the live show. You got that right. Windows in the house. I'm going to button that thing up before Gary gets back. Oh, let's go inside. You guys want to try to go inside? I don't know if we can do it. Let's try it. Whew. All right. All right, it might get a little dark in here. I think I got a light though. Let's see. This is pretty good for a smartphone, isn't it? Just a Samsung smartphone. You guys are getting the, the good looks. All right, here we go. Really good, Doug. Thanks a lot. Cabin looks good. We hear you clearly. The cabin's looking good. Searchlight of Love Homestead. She must have had a butch. No, she just, she makes it nice. And I know she had to, do something real quick with the gas and the generator and stuff. Man, we're just a mess right now. I've neglected the house and everything because of mom's house. So, got a lot more insulation up. Got that tongue and groove pine all buttoned up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man, you guys are so lucky. When you show up to the live show, you get the nice updates, I tell you. Bam! That's a heater right there. The heater part of the air conditioner we're gonna have a heat pump in here for mom oh and there's another update this is crazy come on you guys stay with me now give me some thumbs up there's only 420 thumbs up building a, hog, a log cabin for mom we're moving her out of the city and bringing her to the country and i'm giving you guys updates nobody's ever seen before i'll get you guys caught up on the next video too for all y'all who missed this oh here comes the burgers you know what <laughs> I don't know. I'm half cocked crazy, I tell you. All right, see the cabin right there? The cabin's looking good, right? And here comes Stacy. Yeah. Cabin's looking good. And so they brought the telephone or the light pole, you know, the electric pole. Look at that. They brought the electric pole. 
So I got the electric pole and they brought it and I ran out here with the TWP and I stained the whole electric pole so it'll match the cabin. <laughs> Come on, bring the burgers. Jeezo. So I got I, I wanted a mom when she pulls in, I just want that to be looking like a just big a piece of lumber up there. Just like it matches her cabin, right? All right, now you're going to watch the air-conditioned dog jump out. Here she comes, the most spoiled dog in America. Every time Stacy turns on the air conditioner, she's in the truck in two seconds. Come on, everybody says you gotta hurry up. I'm dwindling away with the safety pins and they wanna see me get the burger. Okay, okay. Yeah, don't mind her. She's got her work clothes on. <laughs> she's been hard at work up at the house. She's working on the fermenting books. She's making the food. She's got the garden she's pulling everything out of. And if anybody starts complaining that they want to see more Stacy, more garden, you just come back in August. I can't help you out, man. You know, first up is mom's place. We got to get her in her house. And then after that, we can all play nice and be back in the garden and all that lolly, lolly, lolly stuff. I like it too, but trust me, this stuff's wearing me out. All right, stay healthy. Yes, I don't have any problems being healthy. We have had no accidents at this job site. That was a freak accident up there. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. And when I was rocking on that ladder the other day, what you didn't see was Gary in the background shaking it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was just on a little piece of board and it was just kind of raking like that. Hurry, over here. We're going to eat over here. Oh, I guess not. Hold on. Let's go over there. They like to look at the cabin, but we'll try to set it up so we can eat with them. Everybody wants to eat hamburgers with us. Stacy doesn't know what to do, y'all. She didn't know I was going to do a live show, so she's looking at me like I'm crazy. So I got to get it figured out how we're going to eat. Let's just sit over here then. Here, we'll go back over here and then I'll put it on this ladder here. Where's your phone? You got your phone with you? No. Oh, uh, I was going to read the comments. Here, let's sit right here. Yeah, she doesn't know what to do. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get a little picnic going. Sit down so I can see how we're looking here. This might, I don't know if I can pull this off. I'm pretty good sometimes, but... Uh, I wish I knew it was live. I would have dropped it. Off. You're here right now. What are you complaining about? We're going to eat burgers with you and hang out. Maybe we can answer. Oh, man, I am good at this stuff. Look at that. I think you need to move it closer. So can you read oh, it? I can't. No, I'm not. Yeah, I can read it sometimes. My ladder almost fell through the hole yesterday. You better be careful on those ladders. All right, let's do it. We're having big That's beef true. burgers from the, uh, oh, my goodness. And sauerkraut. Why do I have two big pieces of meat? Well, I didn't know if you were extra hungry. That's fine. Extra hungry. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't like this. This is all this grass-fed beef right here. You wouldn't like that. And those onions that we grew, right? You wouldn't like that. And that's a tomato from Gary because we don't have tomatoes yet. Oh, my gosh. Raise tomatoes. your hand if you have no tomatoes. Yeah, everyone around here, tomatoes are just terrible. All the rain we've had. It's a mess. <laughs> oh, yeah. They call us a mukbang on social media, and we're about to do it right here. Because me and Stacey are going to eat right here and talk to you guys and hang out. This is a cool live show. Oh, I, I think a lot of people have tomatoes. It's just around here that Not us. Tomatoes. We don't. Look at Stacy made that. Ketchup. That's made right here at the house. Come on, y'all. Don't you love this stuff? Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. We teach you how to make all that stuff. Ketchup. Kombucha. Aren't you gonna eat? No, not. You know what to do? She's like, I'm not gonna eat in front of everybody. Come on, you're hungry. No, I'm not gonna eat. Those are your friends. They want to eat. I know. I'm not gonna eat in front of everyone. I'll just, I'll just have a drink. That's your old one. Yeah. Oh my goodness, tomatoes is pretty much all that. Yep. You wouldn't like it. You guys wouldn't like it. We love Stacy's ketchup. Yeah, it's in her cookbook. If you guys want to get Stacy's cookbook, it's already out, right? All you have to do is go to offgridwithdougandstacy.com, and then we have a general store page. And on that general store page, you guys can get Stacy's cookbook right now. We send them out as soon as you order them. Oh, and someone but, just asked about yellow tomato sauce. We did have the best yellow cherry tomatoes, and I'm going to do some yellow salsa. So. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. And if you want to get her cookbook, you can get it there now. But her fermenting book, don't order that with anything else. Just order just order, <laughs> just order, order it by itself because the fermenting book is a pre-sale and it won't be out till later this year. 
Okay? And then we'll get that out to you later this year when it comes out. But until then, you know, uh, if you want to get some chocolate tea or you want to get the cookbook, don't order them with the fermenting book. It's a pre-sale. You won't get that fermenting book till October or maybe what? April, May? No, you said by like November. <laughs> so. She's worked all day on it today. And she worked in the garden and she made luscious burgers. And we had and a I had nice to go breakfast. help my friend. Her friend was out of town. I had she to go do a chore. She was choring for a friend. And she just got three pigs. Yeah, ooh. And they were so funny. I go to feed them. I go to feed them and it was like someone pulled the cord and they were like, Brrr, they're all over the place. It was really funny. But yeah, it was kind of fun. She's got, and she's got peacocks. I really want peacocks. Over a really bit this bad. Way. This way? Oh. Yeah, right there. Peacock, no. Yeah, I want peacocks. No peacocks. They're so cute. She's got peacocks and peacocks. No peacocks. I like them. No peacocks. Homegrown yeah. chips, no. These are... <laughs> These are avocado oil chips. I like this. If you're going to do chips, I like this brand. I mean, guys, pick your battles. We can't do everything all they the have, time. Come well, on. Well, we've had a lot of people here, so I've got to go. But this brand is good. They they have them in avocado oil and they have them in olive oil. I like the olive oil one better. Did I not cook them enough? Well, they, it burns. You know, on the grill, sometimes they burn a lot, and so I've had it on low. I'm a carnivore. Don't worry about so, it. But this is, a, this is a, a good brand. So if you guys find this, they're pretty good. Peacocks are beautiful but loud, and they poop all over everything. Well, so are and the they jump on everything. So are the turkeys, no thanks. So are the chickens. They don't bother me. They don't poop all over the deck. So does you know? everybody else. No, they don't. No I thanks. want peacocks really bad. No. <laughs> Dream about them. Uh, wow. All right, come on. You guys got to talk it up. I'm, I'm just eating here. You already got Stacy's feeling How uncomfortable. How are the bees? Bees are doing awesome. I got to do some weed whacking in front of them, but everybody looks like they're moving around really good. Well, Sorry you have to, to do chipping. Sorry to eat in front of in front of you. We don't do rabbits. We don't eat rabbits. We're not going to keep Except for I really am toying. I, I, I want to start raising rabbits again. I raised rabbits when I was younger. My dad used to raise hundreds of rabbits. I want to raise them for dog food. So Here's a fun fact if you didn't know. The Indians actually starved to death eating rabbits. Bet you didn't know that. Leave a comment if you knew that. Or leave a comment saying, oh, I never knew that. Yeah, Indians starve to death in wintertime eating rabbits. Fun fact. There's a bee or something buzzing around. Everything's buzzing around. Buzz, buzz. They saw the heater. They saw the window. They saw me get my staining gone. Yeah, it's going somewhere, isn't it? Yep. Thanks a lot, Jerry, if you're watching, for coming up. Jerry did a lot of the tongue and groove work while he was here. That helps out a lot. How much more left to do? I can't read it. Too quick. <laughs> Enough. How Maybe. are the duck ducks? We have so many duck ducks. I have 26 duck ducks. And it was so funny. I'm trying to drive and I was waiting for them. I need a little sign that says duck crossing. Actually, we need to get one. Um, and then I have another duck in the sheep barn where the sheep are now. And they're sitting on a bunch of eggs. So cross your fingers that we'll have little duck duck eggs. But I got 26 and I got a lot of boys. So maybe this year we'll have to, I don't know, maybe we'll have to eat one. I have a lot. Spray them back roll. Well, that's for polyurethane on the inside. If you're going to do the stain on the cabin, you have to brush it on. Brush, 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 brush. Spraying it is not going to get the uh, grain good. It's not going to penetrate the log good. It's just one man's opinion. I've done a couple of them, but you have to brush it on. You have to touch it and brush it. You have to get it in the cracks. Uh, another thing somebody was asking about, there's a lot of checking going on. Checking is when the log kind of cracks. I'm going to come back later and fill those in. I'm in a hurry right now. So some of them that were kind of bad, I got on it right now. And then the other ones I'll come back later on after mom gets settled in and whatever. And I'll, you know, put the, just basically put that uh, chinking stuff in there and fill the crack in. You don't want any moisture and a bunch of stuff getting in there for a long time. It'll crack the whole log. Uh, 1357, 718 thumbs up. Some people don't know where the thumbs up button is. And we live in Missouri. Yep. Hello from Vegas. Yay. Northern Missouri. Yeah. A lot Go of up. people went to Southern Missouri down by the Ozarks. Doug and Stacy went Northern Missouri. 
a little cooler, better soil, more rain. Yeah, we've had way a lot of rain. <laughs> so much rain. <clears throat> Florida's here. Ohio's here. Oh. Is your mom getting excited? Yes. Yes. <laughs> she is. We're getting ready to go to um, Layman's as well. Uh, Layman's contacted us. I think they're going to have an event for us uh, later this fall. So. Yeah, I mean, shoot, we're almost in August. We're almost here for the conference. I know. That's what I was just telling them. I can't believe it. We I'm going to be talking five. to you guys at the conference about uh, looking for land, right? Like what to look for when you're looking for land, land that you should consider, things to consider when you're buying it, you know. And then after you buy your land, then what, right? So like a lot of people buy their land, and I could tell you some stories of, uh, here's a story just for instance. I know someone who bought some land and started doing their homestead thing, and they bought five, was it 500? 50 was it 50 it was like 150 it was a, quite a few 150 200 it was a large number right of the friar birds and they had them out in the field i thought it was 500, 500. i almost could swear it was 500 but i don't want to sound ridiculous <laughs> no it was i think it was, it was 500 they had 500 meat birds out on the pasture and they were moving them in the movable pens and uh they had not been in this place too long and they got a lot of rain in a short amount of time a lot of rain Flash in a short flooding. amount of time yeah and they came out the next morning, and all those meat birds were floating. And it was right when they were ready to process them. So it wasn't yeah, like they, they were, were all new. They were out. ready to go. So they paid all their money on the feed and everything, and then they all drowned. So that was not uh, happening oh, at my all. Molly. So you got to know, you got to know this kind of stuff. Don't jump in there and start doing stuff right away. You got to put the land to the test and see how everything goes. Man, could you imagine walking out and seeing 500 of your meat birds sitting there? Oh my gosh, this is heartbreaking. So that's the kind of stuff you get here when you watch our channel. Hopefully you can avoid some of those mistakes, right? Gary is a great carpenter and a good friend. And Marge is a great yep. dancer at... <laughs> what are you talking about? Stacy's a class and she's a good friend too. They're good <laughs> solid people and they'll get that joke. Yep. Man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to mess up your whole dinner. I thought you would eat the burger and hang out with us. She doesn't want to eat with you guys. I, I'm not going to stop. I know. That's fine. I can eat later. It's just nice to see you all. You just got your notification? Oh, yes, oh my sure. gosh. You guys got to hit that thumbs up so everybody gets their notification. Well, oh, someone wants a sheep update. They're getting big. Sheep are doing great. I had to trim up Rambo's uh, back toe today. He gets the longest he gets, toe. Yeah, he does. You know, he's, he like, gets, old he's like old dude gets old eyelashes or something. No, when, when uh, people get old, their fingernails get thick, mm -hmm. you know, and long, quick. That's what happens to Rambo now. His, his, his older he gets, he gets these long toenails, and you got to trim them. So, how's Norman? Norman is like a big boy. He's got chest hair now. He's got lots of chest hair, and he's grown into a I'd really young like man. to find him a home instead of uh, sending him to the freezer yeah. camp. Yeah, he's a good boy. So we were thinking, you know, how we could do that <laughs> better. Yeah, Hi, Molly, Molly agrees, too. She likes Norman, too. Oh, we got some uh, walkers. <clears throat> oh, Excuse me. <clears throat> These ferments sometimes get you, boy. Hey, you stay here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Be good girl. So sit. Sit. Sit down. Good girl. girl. You stay. stay. She's being very good. Good girl. And no, it's not a lamb burger. It's a beef burger. Beef burger. Grass fed beef. Grass fed beef. But. How are you? But we're going to be getting um, lamb burgers. We're trying. We're getting the home stretch. No, I love it. I think it's so cute. Thank you. Mom's going to dig it. Oh, there's New Zealand. What's up, New Zealand? We have some friends that just pulled into New Zealand. Um, Gone with the Winds. Uh, they're a really good couple. They're on a sailboat and they're sailing around the world. And they just pulled into New Zealand, man. What a cool trip they're on, boy. They used to start off, they lived kind of off-grid and they did the um, RV thing, you know. And they traveled around the country in an RV. <laughs> and then they bought a sailboat. <clears throat> I've been following them for a while. 
and now they're sailing and they just pulled into uh, New Zealand. Me and Stacy talk about that. Mm -mm. Oh no, I don't like the ocean. <laughs> not, not, I mean, I like on the river, it's okay, mm -mm. but I don't like the ocean for no, a long period of time. Catch, no, you're not going to catch us. Keep me on land. Mm -mm. Nope. All right. Okay, let's read some comments. You guys, okay, so brush or um, stain or spray. Brush. Brush is all the number one thing. Stain will not penetrate the wood good. It will not give you a good stain. You'll have do overs. You'll have one year, you'll have to restain. Two years, have to restain. What are you looking at? Huh? Get it. Yeah, Molly loves the porch here because she can go underneath it. So yeah, she's it's always a cool underneath spot. Here. Yeah, we don't like the peacocks. No, I like peacocks. No, they're with me. No peacocks for you. Well, the other day, my friend Jody, she came by and she says, I have a present for you. And I look in the box and I thought, oh, maybe she gave me peacocks. Because Doug won't know. Because I take Oh, I'll know. Says, <laughs> but she gave me two little turkeys. So. Yeah, and they're just the cutest things. We got two little turkeys. There's three little turkeys actually running around well, by one's Mr. Bigger. Turkey. Yeah, one of them, he's a boy. I got another bourbon red. Yeah. So Mr. Turkey and the new little bourbon red are going to maybe have. <coughs> well, that's why we got to move him over to the haven. Yeah, and they have <coughs> two areas. I love the turkeys. If you guys them. didn't know that, yeah, Gone with the Winds are cool. Um, if you guys didn't know, turkeys are very territorial, right? So if you have a couple of males, it's good to kind of separate them. So we'll probably take that or one male. Them. Yeah, or eat them. Yeah. And we'll try to take that one male and put them over there. Because we'd like a couple breeding pair of uh, turkeys. That'd be cool. Well, and then I've had old Mrs. Turkey. She's been sitting in the um, coop on a bunch of eggs. Actually, they're not her eggs. They're guinea eggs she's been sitting on. I took them away because she's been on there for two months, and she will not get off because she just locks down. Yeah. So then um, I took them from her, and she and I'm like, come on, let's go. And then today she was out running around. I threw her some tomatoes, and she was eating them. And I'm like, oh, welcome she's back. Been but in she's, the she's, she's been she's in the chicken house again. for a long time. Yeah, yeah. These are oak. This is white oak and red oak, the strongest wood you can build your log cabin out of. This is going to last to see my grandkids, 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 grandkids. No pine around here, okay? That's for you northerners, you western people over there. This is oak. This is forever stuff, right? Bugs don't even like it. But, uh, termites, their teeth fall out when they eat it. <laughs> that should Serious. be something out of, on a uh, pest control. Now, I'm just telling you, they don't like it. Yep, that's why we built out of it. You know, we, I've taken you guys on some field trips, field trip Friday, and we went to Daniel Boone's place, and there's a couple hundred-year-old... Uh, Couple hundred year old log cabins still up all around Missouri, you know, and regular houses just ain't gonna do it. So they're a little more of a work, you know, than stick houses, but man, it's just the feel, the ambiance, the longevity of it all, the look of it. I just can't beat it. Yeah, we need to do field trip Fridays again. We I will. Like let's, hey, let us get back. We gotta get mom under roof, y'all. Mom is A number one first. So. And don't be bugging me and putting pressure on me either about the garden and Stacy. I mean, I got enough going on. I'm trying to accommodate y'all. You know, back to the homestead videos as soon as we get mom in her house. I'm sure you understand. She's living on couches. One step at a time. That's yeah. right. She's like 72 years old. And now she's living out of a suitcase. I mean, it's not, not very cool. <laughs> All right. I need people to say, yes, peacocks. No peacocks. Everyone yes, says peacocks. no peacocks. No. Listen one to person. your smart subscribers. One person. That was like the fifth one I've seen. No peacocks. Yes, peacocks. What are some of the main differences between your mom's cabin and yours? Well, we don't have any interior walls in ours. That was easy. And ours is just like a box with a loft upstairs. That was easy. Our roof, I just put a ridge beam up, a two by, I think it was a two by eight. And I built the rafters. Well, it's a lot smaller. Yep. Well, not a lot. This is 900 square feet. Yeah, look at all my people 600. like peacocks. Yes, no peacocks. peacocks. Thank you, peacocks. See, no peacocks. <laughs> that was just one. That's John Carter. No peacocks. I think we're having the girls it's saying peacocks, peacocks and the boys peacocks. are saying no See, peacocks. More peacocks. The boys know not to get peacocks. Now, look at all the See, yes no peacocks. no peacocks. Look There's at them all. Yes peacocks. No peacocks. No peacocks. Team peacocks. See, I love it. And it's like voting, too. <laughs> like, yes means no. This is like voting, too. Yes I like peacocks. No. Yes, peacocks. 998 yes, thumbs all. up. 999. Are we going to get 1,000 thumbs up? Oh, we just get 1,000 thumbs up. How do we do? Oh, you guys don't like my shoe either, do you? 
Well, I, the, the guy that does it, he's closed on Mondays, and every time I go down there, it's like, oh, shoot, they're closed. And then I was all moved. set, too. I have my rubber boots on, and they make your feet sweat. I don't like yeah, them I don't at like all. Those. And I, that's the day I trip, too. And my, not really oh, there's trip, a few. No peacocks. no peacocks. No peacocks. No peacocks. Yes, peacocks. And uh, so we t she took it down there, and then I, I wear them every day, so she can't have them back. <laughs> well, maybe I'll take them tomorrow. All right, you guys got some questions? Man, the sun's going down. When the sun goes down, party's over. You guys caused me not to get my standing done. But I got pretty close. I only got two more poles to go and a little bit of this lip around the front. And then me and Stace are going to do some stuff. I got a buddy of mine from uh, like uh, junior high school coming up. That's an old one. I'm going to see if we can't crack him open for some good <laughs> Sorry about the notification buzzer there. That hurt your ears. Yeah. Cover your ears. This low cabin mom bought, we did some adjustments to it. It's called the Grizzly, and she paid $60,000 for it, and it's everything you see, every every piece of board, every piece of oak, every window, every door, every 2x4, every 2x6, every 2x8, everything, the stain, everything in the roof. If you want shingles, it comes with it, but we opted for 10 so we paid, uh, got credit, and we paid that, you know, bought it ourselves. And, uh, you know, it doesn't include your uh, plumbing and electric and stuff like that. That's up to you. But it comes with all the wood, everything you need to put the thing together. All the windows, all the doors, everything. And they're easy to talk to on the phone. We've had a bunch of questions. It's Gas to No Log Homes. And you can also check them out by going to offgridwithdougandstacy.com, the general store tab, and then just scroll down and you'll see all the cool stuff that we like and you guys can save money on. And there's a tab there so you guys can go directly to Gas to No Log Homes. Let them know we sent you. I'm like their little spokesman salesman. We don't make a dime, you know, from them other than if you guys buy a log cabin, I might get a little few little crumbs off of that. <laughs> That's it. And then somebody was talking about Blackberry. Oh, those blackberries! Oh my so gosh, good. this is the best year for blackberries, and they're like so huge. And uh, someone, uh, Ralph, that was here helping with electric. His wife has this really good blackberry crisp, so I'm gonna make a blackberry crisp with him. But every day, I mean, I get, I'm getting like ten pounds. Ralph of sent me a picture of his app, his blackberry yeah. crisp too. Well, Marge has got the recipe, and I have the recipe now. And, and we're, we're all we're waiting. Now try it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what kind of blackberries they are. Actually, they're big got, ones. They're, they're huge. Thorn the bell blackberries. You guys saw how big they are. Uh, oh, no. You guys will see what we're doing. I just uh, I showed you guys some updates. The heater's in. We got the vents cut in the floor. He was getting ready to put the boots on, but he didn't. It was a little muddy down there yet. Someone needs property in Upper Missouri. Yeah, you're just going to have to go to Upper Missouri and find some. We know a nice little house for sale on four acres with, um, you know, it's a, what is it, how many, two bedroom? No, it's only three and a half acres. Two bedroom? No, there could be a million bedrooms. How many is in there right now? Three. Three. It could be three. So two bedrooms, and it's on three point something acres, and it's a hundred and fifty, hundred and sixty thousand. But it's got a whole open upstairs. It's got the downstairs. It's a walkout basement. It's uh, it's off grid. Right, off grid. No electricity. No plumbing. No nothing. So. If you're interested in something like that, you can hit me up on the email offgridwithdougandstacy at gmail.com. I can give you some of those particulars, and it's, uh, you know, over here in Amish country. Some of the Amish are moving around the corner. Yeah. And the reason why I chuckle is because normally when the Amish move, they go to a whole other state, or they go to a whole other, they go to build a whole other community. And our community, there's several families that are just, you know, Moving around the corner. So. Oh, come on now. You got any more questions? Through our Southwest off you on 54. Or groovy like the movie. Uh, finished the chinking on this side. So, you know, I haven't got around to the other side. This is the second day of no rain in like all yeah, summer. Looks, the chinking looks good. He, he, we went with the, the kind of brown color instead of the white. I like it. Yeah. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs up if you like it. Do we get to meet mom? I don't know. Me and mom been talking about it. She's not all keen on this shit. She's not all keen on this stuff. <laughs> Tug. Yeah, I know. She. That's how she would say it. So. <laughs> 
but we'll see what happens. I, I know we're going to have like that uh, Chip and Joe. Did you guys know that uh, Stacy and I were called the Chip and Joanna Gaines of Off Grid? And so we'll uh, have the big reveal and take, bring her in the house when it's all done. So. Yeah, that'll be fun. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Here, just read. I can't read that for quick. Let's see. Oops, oops, oops. That's all. Yeah, oops. <laughs> That's oops for no peacocks. Say oops if you want no peacocks. See? Oops, oops, oops. Okay, that's enough. I taste good. Yes, you're salty. I've, she I wants have to get a, a salt new, replacement. Uh, beauty care regimen. Uh, besides Redmond salt, that's our favorite salt. Stacy's uh, sweat salt. <laughs> no, that's not what it is. It's because I I use ghee. Oh yeah, your buttery. That's uh, my body for my body care, my hair and my skin and everything. See, oops, no peacocks, no peacocks. Yeah, everyone likes peacocks. More peacocks than no peacocks. All right, you guys, it's been fun, man. 40 minutes of hanging out. We answered a bunch of questions. I gave you guys some updates. Stacy wants to eat her food now. She's probably going to be mad at me. Oh, because it's going to be cold. She didn't know I was going to go for a live show right now. But I was just kind of missing you guys, man. And we've been moving so fast. And sometimes I just can't do this camera thing all the time. So I thought, man, I'm going to get it uh, off show up let me see what i'm gonna read here do you believe i'm gonna see what it says do you believe in dennis what a ass hat no i don't so there what's your problem yeah yeah no it's just somebody being an ass hat all right well sun's going down the rain's killing everything. The well, gardens are having a hard time. We got no tomatoes hardly on coming up. You got green ones, don't you? Tomatoes? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I have cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes came through like a champ. They popped up real good. They're like grapes. Everybody wants to know about your grapes. Give them a shout out for the grapes. Well, I have to explain the whole story. Well, just give them a... Stand over here and I'll tell the story. All right, she wants to tell you the story. But you want to eat your sandwich. Okay. I can do it. Now you're going to cover your sandwich back up? Oh, my gosh. All right, all right. All right, you guys are going to, this is the first time we've talked about the, ugh, this is the first time we've talked about it. Okay, so. Hold on, I, hold on, hold on now, hold on. Don't be so rushy. Let's see what I got here. I got to get you set up so everyone can hear your story. It's a story to tell here. Oh. Whoops. Come on now. You guys stay with me. When will we be in Ohio? You guys got to stay tuned for the Ohio information, okay? Stay tuned for the Ohio information. I'm working with Layman's right now. We're going to be at Layman's. So just hang tight. We'll get you guys all the info. I don't know how I did that earlier. That was pretty good. No, no, Molly. All right. Stacy's going to tell you guys about the grapes. <laughs> so when I first put the grapes in, I because we have chickens, and so I went ahead and put them in, you know, pots. So that the chickens would peck around them because they would like grapes, you know. So everything was cool. And then I left one day and it's when we had, Molly was a puppy and she liked like plastic containers. So when I came back and I was only gone a short time, all those pots were gone and ripped up into a million pieces. She had pulled them off and so were the grapes. They were pecked down to nothing because the chickens had gotten to them. And I'm like, Ugh. so then I would have thought, well, you know, it, they'll, they'll start to grow back or whatever. But it was just, it was just terrible because Molly was taking the things and it was just a mess. So then I replanted some and I kind of, they weren't good or something and they didn't work. And I'm really upset because Concord grapes grow very well here. And they're yeah, it's very, like our main grape. It is great. And I use a lot of grape leaves. Come here, girl. Cooking, that um, I do a lot of lot of stuff with grape leaves, yes. so I'm really sad. So Molly, no. I will be getting grape, no. grapes growing this come next here. year, but it's just really a crazy thing because I'm so sad because I come, wanted come, come, them come, so come. bad. So, so I'll, no I'll grapes for us. I know. No but grapes. Stark Brothers, uh, if you guys need anything, uh, grapes, apple trees. Our apple trees are already putting on apples. The little bitty ones we got from them just two years ago. That was the fastest yeah. apples we had on all the apple trees we planted. Stark Brothers, they got all the berry plants you want, all the um, apple trees. What's their apple tree they came up with? 
Oh, they're so famous the for this. Pan yeah, it's a red delicious and golden delicious. Yeah, that's they're where famous it started. for that. They started the yeah. <clears throat> red delicious and golden delicious apples. But generally, like what I did, I had I gotten some uh, grapes from the Amish, and mm -hmm. it, we've had so much rain here. I mean, nothing has been able to do anything. It's just been terrible. But if you guys want to go to StarkBrothers.com, you can go there and check out all their stuff. They deliver right to your doorstep. Uh, they're sponsors of our conference, the Homesteading Life Conference. And they're just a bunch of all-around good folks. And they're right here in Louisiana, Missouri. And it's, yeah, right it's down the street. Cool. The yeah. oldest continuous running nursery yeah. in America. We know people. <laughs> so go to StarkBrothers.com. You know, go to Stark Brothers. Check them out. If you order something, just put a little note in there and just say that you saw it on Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. And the conference is going to be really good. We got a lot of cool speakers lined up. We're going to be uh, we're going to have a live butcher of a chicken. That's going to be cool, huh? Well, uh, we're going to do. I'm just we're just, we're going to skin it. Mm -hmm. So so that way for uh, for other things, you know, if you're going to skin any other kind of animals, mm -hmm. if it's going to be a rabbit or if it would be a duck or a goose or you know whatever. You Somebody said, why don't we have ducks? We have ducks. Lots of ducks. Yeah, we have lots of ducks. We have Indian runner ducks. They're the best. I love them. Yeah, I hope All you guys right. are having a good night. Bought lemon trees and elderberries from Stark Brothers. There you go. Yeah, they do. They have a big catalog. Yeah, they're nice folks over there. Bees. Bees are doing awesome. Putting Doug it just on. Saw, like you just saw Kong. that wild swarm right down the street. Yeah, did you guys see our uh, go? You know, on your phone, it only shows on your phone, but on our, I guess we have stories. So I've been trying to put these stories up for you guys. And yesterday I was just driving home, and there was a whole swarm over the top of the road there. So I stopped and I got it on the thing for you guys. It's on the stories. I think those last like twenty four hours or something. So it's only on your cell phone. But I asked Stacy; she didn't even get a notification or anything. So I don't even know how that stuff works, but. Put them up there for you guys. <laughs> yeah, but he was driving, and there it goes a little bee swarm. All right, so we'll take a few more questions, and that's it. Stacy wants to eat her sandwich, but she told you about the grapes. Mm -mm -mm. Molly's such a good girl. Man, don't let people bring you down, right? A lot of people try to say stuff to you, right? All they're doing is basically compensating for their inadequacies inadequacies right so if i worried about what people thought about the way i looked right i probably wouldn't be walking around you know dressed like a hundred years ago you know what i'm saying you guys just uh you know you guys got to get out there i'm just amazed at what's going on in america right now too you guys got to really anchor down man and get your stuff together i see a lot of softies out there so that's my two cents on the way out the door tonight a lot of softies out there so if stuff gets bad out there remember what our channel is all about right it's about living off grid and being self-sufficient we're just building mama log cabin when this is a little bit of a sidetrack of what we're normally all about but we're all about self-sufficiency taking care of your own doing your own thing having community you know what i'm saying so that's what it's all about so i just encourage you guys you know if you're looking at land start getting on it you know, if some of you guys would have took our advice four, three, four years ago, you'd have been in a real good spot right now. Ninth straight week, in case you're keeping notice of lumber prices are going down. So as they start to fall down, you know, any of those projects you were thinking about, start jumping on them. Hoard yourself a little lumber too. You know, if you're uh, ever going to do this lifestyle, you're always going to need lumber. So if you don't get yourself a mill for the homestead, stock up on the little things. You know, it's always good to have just... Uh, a little bit of lumber laying around, some screws, some nails. If you guys are already homesteading, just, you know, some, some stuff like that. Don't always, you know, be the guy that runs to the store just to get those little things that you need, you know, stock up on them. And, and just a side note, that stuff always goes up always, right? So you're always doing yourself a good favor if you can uh, buy that stuff in advance and kind of let it set around. But here, don't be the guy, okay? Don't be the guy. That can't find a screwdriver and you know when you die and stuff we got to come to your house and you're the guy with 52 screwdrivers okay because you can't ever find your screwdriver you just run out and buy them all the time that's not what i'm talking about but you just go out you get some wood you know it's just like putting away money like um for your uh checks you know what i mean for uh 
you know, savings, right? So every week, right, you guys get your loot, you go say this, 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 this is what's up, and then here's our little leftover, and here's, I'm gonna buy six two by fours, and then you put them away. Some of those people, if you would have done that, for, you could have had two, they're $10 a piece right now, two by fours. <laughs> right? $10 a piece for two by fours. Two by four by eight, I bought 10 of them for the project in here the other day because I, you know, doing a shower thing that's a little different than what we had here, so they didn't give me that lumber. It cost me $100, okay? So, I'm just telling you. But I got lumber up in the barn, too, and I have a mill. Uh, so, sometimes I like to save my lumber just in case it goes up even more, and then I really get a savings on it. How's your burger? I have a soggy bun. It's okay, though. Yeah, she has a soggy bun. I won't tell nobody. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys that's it we're out of here if you guys enjoy this log cabin build give a big thumbs up on the way out if you got any questions come back and leave them on the video once it uploads it'll actually upload in a little bit here and then if you want to leave a comment down below if you didn't get to watch the live show i swing back through and answer some of your comments and uh, we got some cool t-shirts one of them is don't uh your guilt has no power over me I love that t-shirt. I came up with that. I was listening to something and they said that and I thought, man, that's a t-shirt if I ever heard it. Your guilt has no power over me. It's going to come in real handy in these next couple weeks coming up. Hope to see you guys at the Homesteading Life Conference. If we don't see you there, we'll see you at the Homesteaders of America Conference in April, October, in October in Virginia. Homesteaders of America in October in Virginia. We hope to see you there. You will see us at uh, Hannibal, Missouri in August. That's only like 10 days away or something, isn't it? It's going so fast. 28, 10, yeah. 11, 12. Yeah, we had some cool oh, speakers yeah. from Canada supposed to be here too, but last year and this year, I mean, you guys won't even get to come across the border. It's ridiculous. I don't know what all this stuff's about. So, You guys take care of yourselves. Love one another. Friends, family, and beyond. Thanks for watching our videos, as always. See how that sun's going down? It's kind of nice. Mom's really going to enjoy the cabin. She's got a great view here. Animal. Molly's on the front porch. Bernadette, the cat's been coming down and hanging out. There's Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie, I saw you there. Thank you. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for watching all the old videos, Ronnie. Ronnie's a new subscriber. He went back, started watching all the old videos. He's leaving comments. And there's so much information in our older videos man so much information off grid with doug and stacy.com see you guys on the next video and in case you missed some of the updates there's some serious updates in the front of this video if you're just watching it right now so if you jumped into this live show late go back to the very beginning and check out those updates and we'll see you guys on the next video